Uh, what's the posture? Okay, hello everyone. Okay, welcome to the primary math series on TikTok. Okay, and on IG also. Okay, so welcome. All right, so today uh, I'll be relieving Coach Shahira just for today. All right, uh, she's a bit unwell today. Don't worry, next week she'll be back. Okay, yeah. And then, uh, so for now, okay, we'll today we have some questions that we'll go through. Okay, then after that, um, you can always go home and retry the questions. Alright, so the questions today, right, where, will, uh, where is it you can get is that, you see at the top right of my screen, there's this Telegram channel. Alright, so you can always just go to the Telegram channel, okay, and then you can find these notes there. You can download, you can print, you can... Watch from your iPad, okay? Okay, so in the meantime, before we begin, okay, I need you all to share these streams, share this, uh, this live to your friends, okay? Especially those who are also in primary school, okay? To those parents, maybe you know of friends who are having kids who are also in primary school, okay? You can share this to them. Okay, get them to join in. Okay, so we can all enjoy this life together. Alright, in the meantime, also like and share, okay? Okay, for a start, we have one question first. We can start with this question. Alright, can I check all? Uh, is the sound okay with you all? Okay, if okay, put a, put a thumbs up or okay, give me more likes. Yes, Instagram uh, will be up in a moment. Still getting it to go up. Okay, there's a bit of a technical glitch on Instagram. Okay. Uh, give me a moment. Okay. Okay, hold on. I think the screen is inverted. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Okay, in the meantime, for those who are able to see the screen, right? Ah, you can try question one first, okay? No, no. Ah, flip again. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Alright, so come, I give you all uh, two minutes, okay, to complete question one. Okay. Uh, that's background noise. Okay, no, it is. I think now should be okay. Okay, come on, two minutes. Express two and three over eight as a decimal. Okay, it's a very common paper one, uh, especially in booklet A. Okay, you will see this quite many times. Okay, one more minute. Then we'll go through. Hmm. The trick here is that there's a lot of two point something. Okay, because basically the whole number of two in front, right? In front of the mixed number, it's uh, already a indicator that the answer will be also two point something. Okay, so uh, yeah, there's a bit of a challenge there. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Okay. So for those who are usually on uh, Instagram, okay, the Instagram is also up. Okay, and you may also share the Instagram link also with your friends. All right. 
Okay, let's go through question one. Okay, question one. Express two and three over eight as a decimal. So we know that this two and three over eight. Uh, hold on. Okay, so we know that this two and three over eight. Uh, is actually 2 and 3 over 8. Okay? So, what do we do with this 3 over 8? How do we change this to decimal? What we can do is, 8, we can times 125. 3, we can times 125. Remember? The denominator, we must make it to 10, 100 or 1000. So, 8, we can make it to 1,000 by multiplying by 125. So, this will be 375 over 1,000. And 375 over 1,000 in decimal will be 0 0.375. Okay, but don't forget the 2 that was in front, if we... Put it back in, the answer will be 4. Okay, remember we plus the 2 here. 2.375. Okay? Right, okay. So those on Instagram also, welcome to the live. Okay, those on TikTok also. Uh, take 3 divide by 8 and put back the 2. Yes, of course, there is another method to do this question also. Alright, so the most... Uh, the other way to convert from fraction to decimal is to divide. Okay? Why can't make 200? Uh, you can. However, okay, when you do that, okay, if you want to make 200, right? 3 over 8. Uh, but the thing is, you must uh, have it at the top of your mind. Especially if this is not a paper 2 question. Okay? What should I multiply to make it 200? Okay? The way to make it 200 is actually to multiply by... 12.5 times 12.5 and we will get 37.5 over 100 and this we can shift the decimal place two times we will get 0 0.375 okay yeah that's another way but uh, if you want to make it to 1000 it's also okay remember 1000 is just three decimal place Okay, okay. so I hope question 1 was uh, quite straightforward. Y times 125. Okay, because 8 times 125 will give me 1,000. When you want to convert to decimal, right, the denominator must be 10, 100, or 1,000. Alright. Okay, so this life is actually for P5, P6. Okay, both is... Okay to join. Okay, it's actually more focused for the PSLE, but some of the uh, or most of the questions that we will do uh, are those that P5 also can understand. Okay. Sometimes our life we have like even secondary school students also joining in. Alright, so it's actually just fine to join. Alright, so before we carry on, okay, um, just take note that. Uh, the the notes that you see on the screen here, you can get it here at t.me slash mastermatspsle. Okay, that is our Telegram channel where you can get free resources, uh, you can get these notes, you can get our past live notes. Okay, not just uh, today's notes or 2024 notes, but you will be able to get our past live notes also. And then there are some other free resources there. Okay, and then you get uh, CC, some promotions that we have. Okay, at the same time, uh, you can also take a look at our website here. And then maybe there's some uh, classes that you might be interested in also. Okay. Alright, let's go to question 2 for today. Ah... The question, here so she, uh, the question here says that 
which of the following is closest to 40 over 7? Ah, 40 over 7. How do we do this? Okay. Are we going to like uh, find where is 40 over 7 and then measure how far away? Okay. Possibly, possibly, possible. Okay. So why not I let you all try first? I give you all two minutes. You all try this on your own first. Okay. Okay. Maybe now it's clearer. Okay. Come, try this on your own first. Two minutes. You see the time here. Two minutes. The time here is 7.51. Okay, two more minutes, I will go through. Okay, the hint is that uh, it's about finding difference. Okay, finding difference. Okay, in the meantime, while you are trying, okay, or if you are done trying, okay, you can feel free to like and share. Okay, share it to your friends, okay? You know your classmates, okay, rather uh, if you know that they are done with their homework and then, and you know that they will be on TikTok, okay, just share it with them, okay? Uh, which of the following is closest to 40 over 7? Okay, one more minute. In one more minute, I will go through. Okay, I hope some of you have answers already. Okay, if you have your answers, right, you can put it on the chat also. Okay, maybe then uh, I'll give hints whether you are correct or wrong. Okay, I won't say immediately that confirm correct. Okay, but I'll give hints. Okay, because once I give say correct, right, later I will see everyone start putting the option. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm seeing two, which is six. I'm seeing five, which is one. Ah, that one. Ah, I mean like uh, those who are putting your options there, you are close. Some of you are correct. Some of you are close. Ah, like I said, it's about finding difference. Okay. Okay, alright, so these kind of questions, right, uh, can come out multiple times, okay? Uh, I've seen like many prelim papers with this kind of question. It's just that uh, trying to solve it might be slightly different, okay? But the main common between all these kind of questions is you must always start with finding the difference, okay? Find Difference. What is difference? Okay, uh, if they ask for a different, find the difference between one item and the other. Find the difference between 10 and 5. What do you do? Like, uh, I say Ali got 10 pen, Bala got 5 pen. Find the difference between them. What do you do? You minus, right? Okay, so uh, if one way to do this question is you can minus. Okay, minus what? Minus 40 over 7 with all these options here. Then you'll get the answer. Okay, see the... Then, because they are asking for the closest, that means you need to have the smallest difference. 
okay anyway smallest difference so what we can do here first and foremost we need to convert this <coughs> 40 over 7 to mixed number okay because it's an improper fraction it will be difficult slightly difficult lah for us to find the difference between um, improper and a whole number so best to convert it to mixed number first so 7 times 5 35 so 5 and 40 minus 35 is 5 over 7 okay um, if let's say some of you not sure how to convert from your improper fraction to mixed number right what did I do just now is actually I was doing divide in my head okay I was doing this I was actually doing 40 divide by 7 and the multiple of 7 closest to 40 is 35 which is 5 minus 35 I get 5 5 is the remainder so you see I put the answer here the remainder here and what I was trying to divide by here okay okay I erase this so now what I can do is I can either minus or I can use a timeline also okay if I were to minus uh, you will see that option 1 and option 2 is the only one that give me an answer that is less than one whole okay so you see here if I take 5 5 and 5 over 7 minus 5 I will get 5 over 7 6 minus 5 and 5 over 7 this will actually give me one whole first 6 minus 5 is one whole right minus 5 over 7 I will get over 7 and the rest will give me an answer that is basically more than 2 over 7 if I minus here I will get 1 whole and 2 over 7 if I minus this one I will get uh, 2 holes and 2 over 7 so the option 3 and option 4 is confirmed out already ok so what we do is we compare option 1 answer of 5 over 7 this is the difference and option 2 difference of 2 over 7 and we find the smallest in this case the smallest is this 2 over 7 so the answer is option number 2 ok ok Alright, I hope this is okay for question 2, okay? It's not that difficult yet, right? Still okay? Still with me? Okay? Okay, so remember, uh, you will see questions like Find the uh, fraction that is closest to half Find the fraction that is closest to one whole Okay, all this, always find the difference Then find the smallest difference Okay? The other way you can also use a time number line, you can put a number line. Okay, then you put your 40 over 7, which is 5 whole and 5 over 7. So 5 is here, 6 is nearer actually, and then 7 is here, then 8 is here. So you see the difference from here to here is actually your 2 over 7. That's why the answer is 6. From here to here, it is 5 over 7. That's why this is the one. This is another way. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, if all is good, okay, give me a like and a share the life. Okay. Share. Share to your friends. Okay. At the same time, share the, uh, the profile also. Okay. Those one. Instagram, those on TikTok, okay, share the life, share the life, okay, and if this is your first time watching a Master Maths live, okay, feel free to follow also, okay, the top there, there's that plus button, okay, or, okay, the, the follow button, I just click that also, okay, so who knows, maybe the next time, 
okay, that uh, we are on uh, live and then you are not sure when, then you happen to scroll through and you see, eh, this coach again. Ah, okay. And maybe you get more maths knowledge also. Okay. And you, know, you will get more, okay, not maybe. <laughs> okay. All right, okay, share our live and follow our uh, TikTok and also Instagram. Okay, if you are wondering, uh, uh, if you are on Instagram and you're, uh, our, there's also TikTok. If you're on TikTok, there's also on Instagram, okay? Okay, now uh, we can go to question three. Ah, question three, you see, fractions divide, okay? See here, there's a divide there, okay? Ah, so divide or fractions, I think some of you learned it in primary five already, okay? If you ever learned in primary five, most probably you will learn in primary six also, okay? It's not difficult, don't worry. When you are dividing fractions, you must remember this thing. Keep, change, Flip. Okay. Ah. So those who already learn, I give you two minutes to try which fraction equals to eight. All right. Okay, come. I give you two minutes. I saw two person uh, that put the answer on TikTok, but then one of you is correct, one of you is wrong. Uh, so who is correct? I won't say. There's uh. Actually, all the options will give you different, different answers. But only one will equal to eight. Okay? If you are done and you are confident of your answer, okay, give this life a like. Okay? Spam the like button. Spam, spam, like, 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 like. Uh, somebody is putting the answer there. Okay, come, let's go through option one first. Oh, I go from the last lah, okay? Okay, firstly, that's why I didn't mention this. What do I mean by keep, change, flip? Okay, KCF, keep. Okay, the K is keep. The C is change. <coughs> the F is Flip. So what you do is, you keep the first fraction. Okay? You change the divide to a times. Okay? You change it to a multiply. And you flip the 1 over 4 to make it 4 over 1. Ah, okay, that is what I mean by keep, change, flip. Okay, for those who haven't learned how to divide fractions, okay, congrats, today you learned how to do it. Okay, so you keep the first fraction, that means don't do anything to it, you change the divide to a multiply, then you flip the second fraction. Okay, that means you keep the first fraction, then change the divide, yes, and then flip the other fraction, good, yes. So now when I do this, okay, is multiply, then this 2 and this 4 you can cancel, become 1 and 2, both I divide by 2, when I cancel them, is I'm dividing, okay, so the answer will be 2 over 1,
which is answer is 2. Okay? Okay, now the next one. Option 3. So this will be same thing like just now. The half remains half. The divide changed to a times. But now the 4 here was a whole number meaning 4 over 1. So when I flip the 4 over 1, it becomes 1 over 4. So this is equals to 1 over 8. Uh, okay. 1 over 8. So it's still not 8. Okay, so those who just now were telling me option 1, option 1, option 1. Okay, good job. You all got the correct answer. Okay, so even though we already know the answer is option 1, I just try it also. So this is also, we keep the 4. That means we don't do anything to the 4, but I just put the 4 over 1. Okay, in fraction, when you see a whole number, you just put over 1. Okay, then multiply and then half 1 over 2 becomes if I put the other way around 2 goes on top 1 goes below and then 4 times 2 8 over 1 which is 8 that's why the answer is option 1 ok Hmm, I hope those who before today haven't learned how to divide by fractions, today you learn something new. Okay? And those who already learned, this is additional practice for you. Okay. Alright. If you understand, give me a like, okay? Ah, okay, spam the like button. Okay, both. The TikTok and also the Instagram also. Ah. Okay, at the same time, share it also with your friends, okay? Share it around, share it around. Okay. Uh, I know PSLE is like months later, but it's actually time will go on very fast, okay? Yeah. Before you knew it, alamak, it's really me here. And before you knew it, eh, it's prelim. Okay, so share with your friends now. Okay, get them ready also. Okay. Alright, I hope divide is good today. Okay, we go to option 4. Question 4. Ah, you see we have a repeat of another question. Okay, just now remember question 2. Okay, we had this question about which of the following is closest to 40 over 7. Okay, we have another question about finding which is the closest. So closest, remember, just now I mentioned, we need to find the difference. We need to minus. Then, we need to find the smallest difference. Alright? So I hope uh, everyone who was here earlier, right, you are ready to attempt this question for. Okay, so I'll give you all some time to try first. Okay, remember, you need to find the difference. Then after that, find the smallest difference. Okay, yeah. give you all two minutes. Or I think this one, I give you a bit more time, lah, three minutes. I think uh, those of you who put your answers on the chat, right? 
Okay. Uh, so far, uh, I don't think I see any correct answers yet. Ah, okay. Remember, find the difference first. Okay. But maybe two. Okay. Uh, maybe those who are not sure because earlier when we do question two, you haven't entered the life yet. Okay, yeah. So, remember we find differences. Find difference between finding difference between one hole and this. And this. And this. And this. Okay, find the difference between all the between one hole and all the four options. And then the difference that you got, you need to find the Smallest difference. Why smallest difference? Because they're asking for closest. Alright? Okay? One quarter is the answer. Maybe, maybe not. One more minute, then I will go through. Okay. Um, probably we'll finish about eight thirty. <coughs> <coughs> okay. So, just now I say we need to find the difference. Okay, and find, and then after you got the difference, you need to find the smallest difference. Ah, uh, okay. So we need to take first one. We take one whole. One whole minus three over five. Okay, and this is five out of five minus three over five equals to two over five. Okay, and the next one, one whole and one over three minus one whole. Very easy. Just take out the one whole only. Take out the one whole. I get one over three. Alright, then uh, one whole minus three over four. This is four out of four minus the three out of four. I get one out of four. Okay. Now the last one. Also the same, minus one hole. I'm just taking out the one hole in front. I'm left with 2 over 7. Ah, okay, so now you might be asking me, uh, how do you find the common multiple of 5, 3, 4 and 7? Uh, how do we do that? Okay, the good news is you don't have to do that. Okay, uh, because I think... Uh, some of you maybe, uh, maybe you think that it's only, you need to always make the denominator the same, then you compare the numerators. Okay, not all the time you need to do that actually. Especially for this case, when the denominators are difficult for you to find the common multiple. Okay, so the other way to do this question is to make the numerators the same. Okay. Because it's quite easy here to make the numerator the same. There's only uh, there's one, one, two, and two. So you just take the one times two. That's it. Okay, then you have your numerator the same already. So times two times two equals to two over six. Times two times two. Two over eight. Ah, now you see, you have a 
2 out of 5, 2 out of 6, 2 out of 8, 2 out of 7. All these four fractions, right, that you see here, that I've highlighted, right, these are the difference. Difference between one whole and all those fractions there. Now we need to find the smallest fraction here. How do we do that? Okay. The smallest fraction... Okay, the smallest fraction is the biggest denominator. Okay, imagine like you have a pizza or you're sharing a cake with your friend. Okay, then the denominator is the number of slices that you're going to cut the pizza or cake into, right? Okay, so if you have more slices, okay, each slice is smaller. If you have less slice, each slice is bigger. Okay? So that's why the biggest denominator is the smallest fraction. So in this case, you see you have a 2 over 8 here. So the answer is 2. Okay? The answer is 2. Because you see an 8 there. Only when the numerators are the same. Okay? Then you can compare this way. The biggest denominator is the smallest fraction. Then what if you need the largest fraction? Then the largest fraction will be the smallest denominator. Okay? Yeah. If you are comparing the denominator, it will be the other way around. Okay? If you are comparing numerator, uh, is normal. Okay? Like what you usually do. Smaller number means smaller fraction. Bigger number means bigger fraction. Okay? But if you are comparing denominator, it will be the other way around. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay. So if it's good, okay, you understood. Ah, uh, give me a like. Okay, give the, this life a like. Okay, spam the like button and also share it with your friends. Okay. And if this is the first time, if you never followed Master Max before, okay, follow our TikTok also. Okay. Yeah, click the, the follow button on top. Okay. Alright. Ah, this is another common fraction question that you will see, especially in your booklet A, booklet B. Okay? And even the P5 will see this, even the P6 will see this, some P4 also will see this question. Okay? Okay, so how do we do this? Okay, the, the hint I'm going to give you is, you need to firstly find what is this number here. Okay? Ah. Uh. You can probably use a model, okay, to find what is that number. It's probably a bigger number because a fraction of that number gives you 240. So, it cannot be 240. Okay. Uh, now, I give you all two minutes for this. Like and share the stream, okay? Like and share. Okay, those on IG also like and share. Okay, the answer.
Ah, correct. Okay, I saw some of you putting your answers there. Okay, right. Okay, you are right. Good. Okay, one more minute before I go through this question. Okay, let's go through this question. 5 over 8 of a number is 240. So what does that mean, right? If I were to draw a model, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five. So these five boxes here is 240. So I need to find this whole thing first. Okay, so it's like five units. <coughs> is 240. One unit. Okay, I take 240 divide by five. And I will get this is a potential paper one question also. Okay, so take uh, wait, let me find a space here. Two hundred forty divide by five. So it's four minus twenty. I get four. Bring down zero. Forty divided by five is eight. Minus forty is zero. Forty eight. Answer is 48, just for the one unit. Okay. And then, for the eight units, because there's eight boxes there, right? So, eight units, 48 times eight. So, 48 times eight is, eight times eight, 64. Four. 6, 4 times 8, 32 plus 6, 3, 8, 384. Hmm. So what's the next step here? Okay, the next step is, they say 1 and 1 third of the number. 1 and 1 over 3, right, is actually 4 over 3. And of in maths is? Times. So you need to do 4 over 3 times 384. Okay, what you do is you can divide by 3. You get 128. Divide by 3 is 1. And then you take 4 times 128, you will get 512. Okay, and the answer is 4. Hmm. Okay, I hope this is uh, understandable. Okay. Like this, right? this uh, fraction question, this kind especially. Okay, uh, you may see it in like uh, booklet B. Okay, in booklet B, uh, sometimes you can also see it as a booklet A question. Okay, it's very possible. Even for this, right? Uh, oh, it doesn't say which school paper. Yeah, but it's a very common question. Okay. Alright, so uh, just in case many of you have joined, maybe. Okay. Uh, and you'll be wondering, where does these notes come from? Okay, these notes is actually, you can get it here. At this link here on the top right. Okay. This here. Okay, I will zoom in in case you need to go get it, okay? This telegram link, search for 
Master Maths PSLE. Okay, it's our Telegram channel. Okay, you can go in there, get some free resources, you can get uh, these notes, you can get our previous live notes also. Okay? At the same time, if you can go to our YouTube channel, right, we have recordings of our previous live also. Okay? Alright, now let's go to question 6. Ah, question 6. Question 6 is, I think, our second last question for today. Okay, so, uh, let's do it together this time around. Okay, Madam Maimuna had 12 kg of rice. She used one quarter of the rice on Saturday and one and two third kg of it on Sunday. Uh, how much rice had she left? So now, the first fraction here, There's no units, right? If there's no units, to find... Uh, basically, what you do is draw a model, basically. Okay? So, if I were to draw a model... So, this is Saturday. And then, out of this remaining portion... She took out 1 and 2 over 3 kg for Sunday. So let me find this remaining portion first. How do I find that remaining portion? Basically, 4 units is 12 kg. 1 unit is 12 divided by 4. It's 3 kg. Okay. Uh, now, so to find these remaining three boxes, three units. Three times three. Nine kg. So out of this nine kg, we need to take out this one and two over three kg. Okay, so now you see there's a unit there. There's a unit there, you treat the fraction like a number. So, like if you have 10 kg, I use 2 kg, I will take 10 minus 2. Correct? Now the same thing. I have 9 kg. Uh, not me lah. The Madam Maimuna have 9 kg. And she used 1 and 2 over 3 kg. So I must take out this 1 and 2 over 3 kg. Okay. Uh, I saw on IG. Very good there, Rizky. Okay, so I take 9 minus 1 and 2 over 3. The 9 minus the 1. Equals to 8. Minus 2 over 3. And I'm left with 7 and 1 over 3 kg. Okay? Uh, this is another question that uh, can come out for both P5, P6, even P4 also. Okay, because this is um, just fractions only. Okay, so... The main takeaway from this question is must take note. If there's no units, okay, there's no kg, there's no meter, there's no kilometer, then you draw a model for it. But if there is, okay, then uh, you draw, uh, then you treat like a number. Okay? Okay. Alright, all good. Oh, how did I minus this? Okay. So, what I do, right? I take out one hole from there. Okay, let me use a different color here. So, it's like seven holes and three over three. I split it up this way, lah, basically. Okay. Then, from the three over three, I minus two over three. That's why I get seven and one over three. Okay. All right. All good. Okay, one last question for today. Then that's it for today. Okay, now we have another question where there's fractions and then there's units and then there's even decimals here also. Okay, so uh, you can use it together. Okay, so Eva Pot... Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, 
Eva poured 5 over 8 liters of juice into cups of capacity 5 over 8 liters each. So one cup is 5 over 8 liter. So remember, like I said, no? if a fraction comes with a unit, you think of it like a value. So the capacity of one cup is 5 over 8. Okay, total liters is 5.8 liters. Okay, 5.8 and 5 over 8 are two different things. Okay, 5.8 is like a whole number with some uh, decimal. 5 over 8 is a fraction, like the decimal portion only. Okay? Now, how much juice was left? Uh, so, there are plenty of cups. They never tell us how many cups are there. So, basically, they try to cover as many cups. Lah. And then eventually, there's some amount left in the cup. So, how do we do this? Okay, firstly, we need to find how many cups do we get. How do we do that? We can divide. 5.8 divide by 5 over 8. Ah, Now, how do we do this? How do we do this? We can convert this 5.8 to a mixed number or to improper fraction also. So, this is... 5 and 8 over 10. 0 0.8 is 8 over 10. Times 8 over 5. Okay. Now, uh, remember just now we mentioned divide is keep, change, flip. This is my keep. I change this to times. Then I flip this. So this is... Uh, 58 over 10 when I convert to mixed number I multiply multiply then I plus then times 8 over 5 I can simplify this this is 5 this is 4 so 58 times 4 58 times 4 is 232 over 25 ah, ok so probably this is one of those questions where you need to use calculator ok now how do we convert this every 100 I know there's 4 when I divide by 25 there's 4 ok so there's 200 here, so this will be 9. And then the remaining is 32 minus 25. This is 2. 12 minus 5 is 7. 2 minus 2 is 0. 7 over 25. So what does this 9 and 7 over 25 mean? That means I got 9 cups, okay, and then the remaining amount can actually fill 7 over 25 of a cup. Okay, so we need to find this. Of here means times, right? So what's left is enough to fill 7 over 25 of a cup. So 7 over 25... 1 cup is 5 over 8. Cancel. 5. Cancel. 1. So, 7 over 40 liters. This is your answer for part A. So, for part B, we know that the amount of uh, juice can fill up 9 and 7 over 25. So for the 7 over 25, I need one more cup, right? So 9 plus 1. 10. Okay? Yeah, I just need to plus 1 only for the remaining uh, 7 over 25. Okay, so if you have a jug, right? Wait, uh... Let's say I have a jug. And then, 7 over 25 is this remaining portion. 
So I need to put this into another additional cup. That's why I have plus one. Okay? Alright. Okay, so that is the final question for today. Okay, I hope everyone learned something new today. Okay, and also at the same time, uh, follow our TikTok, okay, and also those on IG also follow our IG. Okay, follow and then share with your friends. And then the next live, they can also join. Alright, okay, everyone been awesome today. Okay, thank you for all the participation. Okay, uh, oh, okay, why do I plus one? Because of the remaining amount there. Because when I divide, I realize that I got nine cups. And for 7 over 25 of a cup. So that 7 over 25, I need to put it into another cup. That's why I plus 1. Okay, if not, there's no... Um, there's still be juice left in the jar. See, they are asking for to pour out all the juice completely. Must pour out everything. Alright? Okay, everyone, uh, those who have stayed, thank you. You are welcome, okay? And see you again when I see you. Okay, and that's it for today. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Uh, there's no decimal because it's, they're asking for cups. All right, you're welcome. Okay, bye-bye.